So hello, um, I'm Alejandra Salazar. I skate with DC Roller Girls under the name of Sailor Jupiter, AKA Jupe. And by day, I am a gifted and talented fourth and fifth grade math teacher. I really love being part of this league. There's everything from lawyers to stay-at-home moms that do roller derby, right? Um, uh, more importantly, in terms of personality, everybody's personality is of benefit to the league in some shape or form. Um, I'm pretty type A about things, <laughs> so I'm very organized and very detailed. Um, but there are some people who are not that at all, and that's a benefit to the league as well. You just have to learn where people's strengths are, and we have to build upon them. Every single day I come into practice, um, I have difficulty doing something new. Um, I'm not a naturally gifted athlete. <laughs> Every single bit of athleticism that I have has been very, very copious amounts of hard work. I was never amazing. I was never like really good. It was just pure passion that allowed me to get to that point. And absolute hard work. Um, I did CrossFit for a year and I was terrible at it, but it didn't matter because every single day when I went, um, I would just try harder and I would try harder and I would try harder. And it always reminds me of how it must feel to be the kid in the classroom who doesn't understand. So I find that it makes me a more empathetic teacher and it makes me much more patient. Whenever I don't understand something on the track, whenever I don't get what I should be getting at the gym, whenever I'm just not making the progress that I am make, I'm sh I should be making for the amount of effort that I'm putting forth, it makes me just completely understand where that student is coming from, that they're trying, they really are, they're trying, but they still can't get the basic fundamentals of what they're being taught. And it makes you have that empathy. And I, I have been that student before. I was that student, oddly enough, in math. Um, so to teach math now not only makes me be more empathetic towards the students that are struggling with math, but also allows me to understand where it is that they need help. And consequently, I've become a better math teacher. So sometimes when you're not that great at something, you're actually the best person to teach it for those reasons, because not only do you improve by breaking things down into smaller pieces, but you also have the patience and you have the understanding and you have that emotional empathy, you know, that you can tell somebody, I've been there, and not just be like, oh, I've been there, but let's seriously be like, I've totally been there. I know what you're going through, and trust me, it gets better, you know? So that's, that's a daily struggle. That's something that's never gonna go away. And I'm, I hope it never goes away, because the minute it does, this, this isn't the sport for me anymore. Sports are supposed to make you be a person that is much more um, in tune, not only with your body, but also with yourself. I mean, derby as a sport is, part of it is physicality, right? And that's great. But you can be the best insert the blank here um, and you can be a really terrible derby skater because you don't get along with the people on your league or because you think you're the best and then the rest of the league just kind of has to come along with you that's not how derby works derby is a complete team sport and it's a lot of trust and if you don't trust your league mates you will fall apart. <laughs> you will not succeed. It doesn't matter if you're the jammer and that means that you're the only person on the track who makes the point. If you don't trust your blockers, you will consistently get stuck. It doesn't matter how good you are. Um, so yeah, sports makes you much more aware. It should make you much more aware. It should make you a better person inside and out, obviously, due to the physical piece of it. But it should make you much more aware of who you are and where you belong in a group of people and how, what your strengths and what your weaknesses are. Most of the girls on the track are just the average bear. But everybody takes care of everybody. I mean, you need something, need a cat sitter, ask your fellow derby girl. 
we will take care of our own <laughs> and we'd love to take care of you too if you want to join it just depends on whether or not you want to be part of the community that's what roller derby does it builds a community it builds a sisterhood it makes people want to stay it makes people feel like they belong and for some people that's sometimes the first time that they've ever felt like they belong anywhere I know, I know a lot of people who, I mentioned Derby and they're like, oh, I can never do that. And I'm like, but you would be perfect at it. Um, I mean, nobody's looking at you to be an Olympic athlete here. I mean, somebody's just asking you to put on some skates, get together with an amazing group of women who just want to push themselves to see how far that they can push each other and therefore consequently themselves as a league, right? Um, that's what Derby's really about. It just happens to also be a sport. I mean, <laughs> it's just wonderful, right? A lot of people here come with like crazy awesome stuff. There are some people who will always paint their faces, you know, and that's awesome because they look really great. I mean, it, it looks amazing. I don't know how they do it. It's personal. I mean, it really, it brings out a part of their derby personality. So like all of us have our own names. Like I'm Sailor Jupiter, I'm, or Jupe, um, and that's from an anime called Sailor Moon. It's the idea of getting that personality, that part of that something you love, that's something that represents you, and finding a way to just characterize it. Whereas some people do it in real life with fashion, um, derby fashion, <laughs> it's finding a way to represent that from you. I mean, we wear uniforms. How are you going to represent this piece of you that makes you stand out? For some people, that's the face paint. For some people, that's a little sticker on their helmet. For some people, that's a tattoo. I mean, it really depends on who you are. And some people don't even need it at all. Some people are just good to go with their name and that's enough. So the hardest thing about roller derby for me is probably the mental aspect of it. Um, physical is a little bit hard sometimes, but it's mostly mental because I can have all of these hopes, dreams, and aspirations, right? But it's, how am I gonna get there? And I know that it's gonna take time and if it were just me doing this by myself alone, then I'm sure I could probably reach point B a lot faster, right? But I'm not, I'm doing this with a team and I have to not only take myself into consideration, I have to take my league into consideration with whatever it is that I'm doing. Um, and just naturally, I think it just creeps into all of our heads from every now and then, from time to time. Um, what if I'm not good enough? What if I'm not giving my league enough what if I'm not this enough and or my progress isn't as good as I had hoped and it's one of those things where it's just mental you have to get over it you have to be kind to yourself and it's that when you hit a wall you hit a wall hard and it's how do you get around that wall how can you get around that wall physically and mentally to continue improving <laughs>